Hey guys, it's Skulker 3, and I'm not recording sound. There we go. Hey guys, it's Skulker 3, and welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Golden Sun. In the last part, we encountered uh, Flint, our very first genie. Or possibly Jin, I'm not sure. But yes, look at him go. Ah, uh, man. He's so tiny sometimes, and then suddenly, boom! Not tiny at all. Uh, we also met Ivan, this guy over here, who can see things, and he joined us if we promised to help him find the person in town who stole his rod. So, using his special mind-reading ability, we're going to do just that. The only problem being that I've forgotten who I've read the minds of, so hopefully this will go alright, and this old man clearly isn't thinking of very much. Let's try that again, shall we? Poor Ivan, but the rod may never turn up. In that case, he can stay here forever. Forever. He's my only friend in these troubling times. Oh yeah, isn't there like a volcano happening at the moment? Just, you know, might wanna might wanna be a bit careful about that. You! Did you steal a rod? I guess some folks got dropped, didn't I? I guess some folks got robbed during the chaos of the volcanic eruption. Well, that certainly seems to be the case. Unless you stole it! I said, unless you stole it. Did you stop leaving so I can read your mind? God damn it, woman! This isn't exactly the most precise mind-reading ability, is it? Okay. No. No. Stop moving when I'm trying to talk to you and read your face. One more time. No man should steal from another during the panic of an eruption. It's unforgivable! Oh, great. You weren't even useful. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is an equipment shop, correct? I don't expect you'll have stolen anything, but... You might give me special <laughs> ideas on deals. Oh, it's definitely not worth buying the wooden sword. That stuff's just made out of poo. I wonder if they left us alone because we don't carry any valuable armor. <laughs> you don't carry anything worth selling. What about you, then? What do you say, you bald man, you? All our best weapons were stolen. I'm sorry, I've only got these cheap weapons to sell right now. Oh, sure, that's your excuse. Wait, why are you apologizing in your own head? Like, were you saying sorry to you? Um, okay, I don't know who to give what. Okay, that's an improvement for... <laughs> Why are you using a wooden stick? Silly, Ivan. You can't equip long swords, but... Um... And mace is for everyone, but it's worse. So I'm gonna give you a better sword. Yep. You look bolder already. And thank you. Uh... I'm gonna go look at other equipment first. You! Sell me some cool armor, please. Um... This is better for these two, so I suppose that means I should get it, doesn't it? That's what logic would say. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Why don't you just take my shirt? It's a bit weird how shopkeepers do that, they just take your shirt away and pay you for it. No, I'd, I'd quite like more than one change of clothes, thanks a lot. You strange, strange man. Uh, yeah, why not? Um, maybe we should have waited, because I don't know quite how all the whatchamajiggers do. Eh. Did I just buy those gloves? I can't tell. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. But the shield is better than the gloves, so I'll buy a shield for Garrett as well. Seven gloves. Seven gloves for my padded... Ah! Uh, what now? Um, you should totally give the game ticket to uh, Garrett, I guess. What does it do? <laughs> I should have probably paid a bit more attention there. Um, gloves are worse for everyone, the bracelet is meh, and a cap for Garrett, and we should be all hunky-dory. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see what the heck that the game ticket was. A special ticket from Tolby. Details, please. Well, that's just grand. <laughs> that's all we know, it's a special ticket. And we have one of them. Um. Do you need repairs? No. But it's good to know that my things can not work for effort. It's nice to know I have degradable items now. Um. I'm not doing anything exciting. I am going to read the mind of this suspicious looking young woman over here. I'm <laughs> or I'm going to, you know, blast her into space. Either <laughs> way works. I bet you're the thief anyway. Mountain that's eruption was beyond description. It's so frightening. We're lucky we survived. Why are you thinking that, rather than like, saying it? Alright, it was clearly you, old lady. That group of travelers was a strange bunch, weren't they? They seem to be heading to the northeastern parts of the Goma Range. 
Gee, I wonder if those could be our thieves, potentially. I'm going to say probably. Uh, okay, one last try, and then I'm just going to try going to the... <laughs> Fix the roof? Why pay for a carpenter when I can just hammer it a bit myself? Uh, right, that's one way. If I had a rock burnt a hole in my roof, they'd always need it. That's, that's grand, I probably talked to you last time. Okay, one final final one, because I want to see what this priest is thinking. I was just about to leave this town behind me when the volcano erupted. Th that's great. Good. Thanks for telling me inside your head. Are you leaving? I'm still worried about the rod. So I'll just wait here until you two return. Oh. Okay, I guess we're meant to stay in the town and still find it then. Welcome back, you two. Let's go find the rod. Let's. But then I don't know where to go. Uh, let's try going up there. That place looks pretty interesting. You know, you are the most troublesome NPC I've ever talked to on this. <laughs> no, I'm not. God damn it, Ivan. Okay. So, he's not at the bottom. And they're not at the top. So, maybe they're in a house. Let's try that. You, have you stolen a rod lately? My neighbor creeps me out. He always has that smug smirk on his face. Okay, I'm beginning to suspect the neighbor then. Hey, maybe my neighbor's a thief. Yeah. Or maybe you're the thief and you're trying to cover up the tracks because you know we can read minds! I wonder what the outside world is like. Aw. Join us, little child! You won't die! Is it fun to see new strange places? Yes. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer and sleep in a tent. Mainly the tent bit, though. I'm trying to have this strange fascination with tents. I mean, it's not, like, that weird or anything, but still. Uh, right, did you steal a rod? I bet you did. That volcano cost us a lot of business, and now this robbery. Those three are paying us a lot of money. I'll stick up for them if there's any trouble. Um, okie doke. David checked the wooden box and found nothing. There's clearly, like, a little bottle there. That's gotta be something cool. The guests upstairs weren't in their room during the eruption. We searched the room afterwards, but we couldn't find anything. Well, that sounds potentially suspicious. It would be awful if our guests turned out to be the thieves. Man, everyone could potentially be the thief. You know who I think was the thief? I think it was David. I think he just has forgotten it somehow. Alright, mind read this woman. It's not helpful that the NPCs keep moving around while you've got the menus up. The master and his wife are blinded by money. They'll be in trouble if they don't help search for the thieves. Oh, will they now? That's potentially pointless information. Anything interesting to do here? Nothing that I can check. Nope. Uh, beds, beds, and some mysterious people! Gee, I wonder if it could be them. What do you want? It looks like that weird kid is with them. I can't stand him. Don't let him near me! Dude, you guys are dicks. And, wait, what are you doing? Do I have to somehow find a way to trap you? <laughs> are you going to run into one another? That would be hilarious. Nope, you're just going to... Excuse me, good sir. I want to say hello. Um. Okay, can I like, synergy these guys somehow? Um. Let's move these two. Nope, I can't. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not getting what I'm meant to be doing here, guys. <laughs> um. Let's see. So I can't have to go. Oh, okay. That'll be. They're acting suspicious. Something's not right. I was talking in carrot's voice for a second there. But you can't use mind reader to keep running away, can you? No. There should be a way to read them, but how? Maybe if we disguise him as a plant. Maybe the three of us can surround one of them. That could work. Don't worry, this is gonna work. David, you take the lead. Why is it always me taking the lead, huh? Just because I'm the goddamn protagonist? Okay, so Hey, they're back. Uh oh, they're coming for us one on one! How did they discover our weakness? Do whatever it takes, just keep away from them like before. Right. <laughs> okay, Garrett is being useless. No, no, no! Okay, we've got. <laughs> okay, come on! Uh oh, I'm surrounded! There's nowhere to run! Well, now, Ivan! This is a strangely comic scene. Uh, Alright! Mind read! I sure like spaghetti. What is this? What is he doing? He shut his eyes. What's he doing? <gasps> dun dun dun. These guys have no thoughts in their brain at all. Are you done, Ivan? Why did I sound so angry there? I don't know. He was probably just asking. What'd you learn, Ivan? Why do I keep saying your name, Ivan? I don't know. 
It's them, alright. I think they took a lot of other things, too. Fortun unfortunately for us, they kind of got away while we were just discussing this, but whatever. Looks like they're hiding it all somewhere in this inn. That's a great hiding place. But they won't let me near them again. Hmm. And I guess we have no other choice. We have to search the inn. Alright. Leave it to us. David always comes through. Right, David? Sometimes. I trust your sense of duty. Well, it's decided. Let's go, Ivan. Let's indeed. Does this mean I'm just going to have to search every single thing? Or is there going to be like a really obvious like place that they're hiding it? Like a rod, a rod hatch. No, leave me alone. Ah, uh, pansy. Pansy's the lot of you. It's not hiding in there, because you can't hide something in a rack, weirdly enough. Um, alright, what's on this? Nope. Hey, welcome to our inn. I, hang on, is this a man or woman? <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, no thank you. Please come again. See, I think from that angle it looks like a woman, but then like the little face box looks like a man. But, uh, well, whatever. Hang on, did you say there were three people? Everyone thinks our guests are the thieves, because, you know, you just read their minds and they said they were. But I think it's unfair to accuse them without any evidence. Sure, they look suspicious, they've been quite polite, and they paid cash. Well, can you pay in any other way in this the game? Like, I don't think credit cards exist, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, you, you said that before. Um, is it in the jar? I am beginning to wonder where they could have hidden it. Oh, in the wooden box. <laughs> we got a mint! Um, alright. That's, um, that's fantastic. We can keep our breath nice and fresh. Um, where would you hide things in your inn if you could, madam? Possibly, sir. Not in this barrel, apparently. Um, I bet if we leave, then... Uh, ah! <laughs> I thought this old person was advancing on us for a second there. Oh, hello. <laughs> you should be fixing the roof now, but I can't find him anywhere. He's probably in back, slacking off again. Unless we have to go up here and find it. Uh, oh. Oh, of course, Synergy. Well, oh, I'm getting this game. I'm understanding how it mostly works. Or maybe not. Okay, come on. Do it properly this time. Oh. One more time. It's been a long time since I've done this, and I'm still not entirely sure how it is meant to go. So I don't pull the box over the hole. Look. They can't obviously pull the rug over the hole because that makes no sense. Um, hmm. Uh, that's mysterious then. Does anyone have like a fill in hole thing? Growth! Okay, so we made vines that did bugger all. Um, can I. Okay, that doesn't look like a light object to me, but. Uh, catch? Nope. Evidently not. I swear it would be move, surely. Hmm. One more time. <laughs> one more time doing the exact same thing and then... Alright, so we moved it one to the left. What did that achieve exactly? Absolutely nothing. That's what I think. Oh! Oh, so now we can jump over it. That's fine. Why can't I search this box? No, I don't want to jump over the hole. Just let me search the box. Oh, there's a room there. <laughs> Hello! David cut him free from the ropes. <sighs> well, that's dramatic. I came into the lo this loft while I was fixing the roof. Yes. But I couldn't. F but I found I couldn't get all the way to the back of the loft. I'm good at reading today. But I found I couldn't get all the way to the back of the loft. So I was looking into and wham! Wham! Someone whacked me in the head from behind. When I came to, I was all tied up. And that's the whole story. No strange BDSM stuff going on here, I promise. Strange. I don't remember all these crates being up here before. Maybe all that stolen stuff is in these crates. You know, these really bright, really conspicuous crates that were there before and they didn't decide to, you know, move the guy out of the loft. I mean, what? Looks like we've been found out! <gasps> oh no! Thieves suddenly! <gasps> More thieves! And a third thief! You're pretty persistent for one of Hammett's whelps, kids. Why are you working so hard for Hammett? What's it to you? Anyway, Hammett's already been caught by a worse bunch of thieves than us. Worse than you guys? Because you look like pretty shockingly bad thieves. I hear Hammett fled to Lumpa after the, erup after the eruption. Is that so? Did you say Lumpa? Lumpa, Lumpa. 
A man with Master Hammett's money shouldn't go anywhere near Lumpa. Oh dear. What kind of place is Lumpa? Is it somewhere where you shouldn't go if you have lots of money? The town was named after its founder, Lumpa, the noble thief. That family of thieves remained noble even when his son, Donpa, took over. It's time for a history lesson with a bunch of thieves. But <laughs> Seriously. But Donpa's son, the Donpa, is an evil thief. The man has no morals. I've heard he's truly vicious. Is that so? See, we're not so bad. How about it? Will you let us go? No. Prepare to die. <laughs> what? You mean even if we return everything we stole and apologize, it's still a crime? <laughs> well, kinda. You must be joking. You stole this stuff fair and square. It's still kind of, you know, theft. We'll just have to keep you quiet. Battle time? Battle time. No, not battle time. Okay, and there's only one way to do that. Get him!